my Lord Bishop, I'm going to copy Lady Marion, if I may, uh, and say, my lords, ladies and gentlemen. Um, carrying on the cricket metaphor and coming in to bat last, uh, I think I ought to say perhaps that this is a cricket match which has a time limit imposed upon it. Um, some cricket matches, of course, can go on for five or six days, but they, uh, they have now started cricket matches which have to end in one day. And this is a cricket match which has to end fairly quickly, and so what I have to try to do now is to get as many runs as possible in the shortest possible time. Um, in a sense, I suppose, you could think of what I'm going to say as a kind of P.S. to a schoolboy's letter home, in which he describes all the wonderful things that are happening in school, and then ends with his letter P.S. A pound note would be very useful. <laughs> um, perhaps sometimes we feel that our, too much of our time and energy has to go into ways of raising money. When I left parish work to come back to college, I thought I had probably finished with raising money, but I seem to have had to do far more of it in college than I ever had to do in a parish. We used to say there, and I'm sure you've heard this so often, that we've tried all honest means of raising money. The only way left is to have a bazaar. <laughs> Well, we've even tried that in college as well. But uh, I, what I do want to do is to say thank you to certain friends, and I feel one must take this opportunity of saying that thank you. I read a book the other day which had a very striking little dedication. It is a custom now of many authors to dedicate their book to someone who has greatly helped them. This was a dedication to his wife. And the words that he used in the word in the dedication were three simple Latin words, sine qua non, which I suppose might be translated as without whom this would not have happened. And so I do want to say thank you to so many people today without whom this just could not have happened. And though, of course, it's impossible to say uh, very much to everybody, there are, I think, a few people of whom you should know who really have been extraordinarily good to us. You see, when this challenge came to us three years ago, we had at that time already from voluntary sources raised 75,000 pounds since the war. And we thought we'd finished. In fact, I said so when we had Princess Margaret here, that now we had finished for a long time to come. And never was a, there a more false prophet, prophecy than that because within, I think, almost six months, the ministry had told us we had to have this further great expansion scheme and we had to face the raising of something like then 100,000 pounds and, of course, it's grown ever since. Well, the council met and we had to decide whether our faith was great enough to undertake this tremendous task. And I think my first thanks must go to the bishop, who never had any doubt, his faith in us and his confidence in us, and in the worthwhileness of what we were doing 
said, of course, there is no question, of course, we must go on. And that, of course, meant at that time a very great deal, both to me and to members of the council. And then, of course, the 100,000 pounds, 125,000 it is now, seemed a terrible amount of money to get in the kind of small contributions that most of us can only make. And it did seem as though if we were going to do it, we were going to have to rely on some large subscriptions and we couldn't see where in the world they were going to come from. Well, the National Society who founded the college uh, 115 years ago and who still uh, look on us with the friendliest possible eye gave us a very good start and they said they would give us 5,000 pounds. And so, of course, that meant a great deal and I do want to say a warm thank you to them and I want to say a warm thank you to all the Welsh Church County, Welsh County Councils of South Wales who from their Welsh Church funds again ha have been generous to us in a way that small subscriptions can't really match up to. And in particular, I, I want to thank Glamorgan, uh, uh, Glamorganshire, who are represented here today by Alderman Haycock. Uh, <laughs> whom we are very delighted to see and whom the university has recently honored or is going to honor with the award of an honorary doctorate of laws. And <laughs> Alderman Haycock will soon become Dr. Haycock. We're very delighted, and he has been extraordinarily kind to us. Glamorgan started off by giving us a promise of £5,000, and they have this present year told us that they will, over the next five years, give us another thousand pounds a year for five years, which will mean a total gift of 10,000 pounds. <laughs> the same is true of Pembrokeshire, and we're very happy to have with us the, the, the chairman of the Pembrokeshire County Council in Alderman Williams, and I want him, if he will, to convey the same kind of thanks to, to Pembrokeshire, who also have promised us over the next five years this wonderful sum of £10,000. Of course, that makes a, a big inroad, you see. It's a quarter of the way to £100,000 already. Well, other great gifts have come, uh, Carmarthenshire have been very kind to us too and we are delighted to have um, the chairman of the Carmarthenshire Education Committee with us uh, and I hope that he too will carry back uh, the, uh, our grateful thanks to Carmarthenshire in Alderman Edgar Lewis. All the others have helped us, Brecon, Cardigan, Merthyr Tidville, and without their help, well, I don't know what we should have done. We should probably have gone bankrupt in spite of all our efforts. But we're not in any danger of going bankrupt now. And if I may, I want to mention one other gift which I think everyone should know of, and that is that I think this is probably unique in training college in the training college world in that every rotary club in district 15 of south wales district 115 in south wales has sent us a very substantial donation <laughs> the initial suggestion of that help came from rotarian dick jones uh, and he is with us this afternoon and I hope he will take back our appreciation to the Rotary Movement for all that they have done. Well, now, 
Uh, I don't want to be too long. I want to thank the students, the staff, the council, and all our friends who have helped us in, in this quite fantastic task. We have still to raise another 50,000 pounds. We haven't had much help yet from industry. Uh, Swansea University got him first. Uh, Mr. Principal, and, and they, they've combed industry pretty thoroughly, but so we were really giving industry time to recover uh, from Swansea's efforts, and then we thought we'd see what we could do afterwards. So we shall try now to, to go to Swansea. But I want to leave money, if I may. I think sometimes it, we, we have to talk about it too much, because as our student president reminded us, it, it's good to have lovely buildings. We want to keep pace with other colleges, but we feel that we stand for something that is worth standing for. We don't compare ourselves with other colleges, but we feel we have been entrusted with a great privilege to make, to nail, as it were, our colours to the mast and say that education in itself is not enough. Education will only make a clever rogue a much cleverer rogue. You taught me language, Caliban said to Prospero, and my profit on it is, I know how to curse. Science is a wonderful thing, but if it's only going to devote itself to human destruction, the less we have of it, the better. And it's all the more important that if we are going to have scientists and brilliant economists and brilliant st statisticians and all the rest of them, we have to ask them, and we have to ask ourselves, what is it all for? What is it that we want education for? You see, education only means giving people the tools, but what are they going to use those tools for when they've got them? And we stand quite four square and quite unapologetically to say, that unless they're going to use them in the service of God, they'd be better off without them. And so I come to the last word that I want to say. We hope that those of you who are able to get into chapel will come and join us at the service with which these proceedings will conclude. Uh, we shall be singing there as our closing hymn a translation of a Latin hymn which also occurs, or something very like it, in the Black Book of Carmarthen, which is a very wonderful collection of old Welsh poetry. And in choosing this hymn, we chose it because we have taken our motto from a hymn which I think in the Black Book of Carmarthen must also be a translation of the same Latin our motto in college is taken from the first few words of that hymn, O strength and stay, upholding all creation. And our motto in Welsh is, Du ein Porth an can horthwe. And if we stay there, we feel that we have nothing to be afraid of. <laughs>